Today we're going to continue talking about arrays inside PHP and the reason I want to do that even though we talked about arrays in the past is because for the next couple of episodes we're going to do more advanced stuff with arrays. So before we do that I'd like to spend this one episode just briefly talking about when exactly we use arrays inside a website. Now as you guys can see I have a website right in front of me here and inside this site or at least inside this index page I have a variable called person which is equal to Daniel and have a variable called people which is equal to an array. Now the basic idea behind an array is that if I have one piece of data, for example Daniel, which is a name, that is equal to a variable, then we can easily just do a regular you know, value as Daniel. But let's say I have a lot of values or a lot of data that needs to go into one variable, then we can use arrays. Now beneath here I have a variable called people, which is equal to an array that has Daniel, Jane, and John. If I were to write this out on the website, I could go ahead and echo variable people brackets and then say we want the first piece of data which is Daniel. So we count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is very basic, we talked about it before. So if I go refresh the website you can see I get Daniel. Now the most typical place you might be using this inside a website because I've heard people ask me before you know what exactly do we use arrays for because we haven't actually used arrays in one of the previous exercises we've done on this channel. Now one of the reasons we might want to use an array inside a website is when we have a lot of data that needs to go into one variable. Now right down here I, do, I only have three different pieces of data which could easily go into three different variables. I could just say name number one, name number two, name number three. but when we have a lot of data, for example 100 or maybe 200 names, instead of having to create 100 or 200 variables that's equal to a name, it's much easier just to put them inside an array. Now you might be asking when can we actually do that and when do we actually need to use that inside a website. In my case, the reason that I use it most often is when I have to spit out data from a database. Now I like to use something called object oriented PHP programming which is not procedural programming which is what we've been learning so far. The basic idea behind procedural and object oriented is that inside a file like the front page that I have here when I need to use PHP I just simply create the PHP code for the stuff that I need to use right now. When you do object oriented PHP you create all the functions and everything on the side inside a separate document and then you call on those functions whenever you need to use them so you don't have to recreate them all over again every time you need to use them inside a file. Now if that doesn't really make sense to you just go ahead and ignore what I just said but the basic idea here is that when I have a lot of data from a database and I need to spit it out inside a website uh, when it comes to object oriented PHP, one of the solutions to do that is by using arrays. So we're going to talk about also in one of the next episodes how to take data from a database and put it inside arrays so we can actually spit it out inside a website. Because that will get useful when you do actually need to do object oriented PHP at some point in the future when we do actually get to that point. So that's the basic idea behind arrays, at least when I use arrays that's what I use it for. So for the next episode we're going to be talking about how to take an empty array which is just basically an array without any kind of data in it and how to insert data after you created the array. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.